what's up what's up guys and welcome to another episode here boom beach with rigo and today we're going to be looking at our task force attack and quite a few things that i got going on here on my on my base but without further ado actually you know what let's go ahead and collect our resources we gotta get a few let's see what we got here on the statues Iron um, production 45 percent that's good but Decisions, decisions. What should I do? What should I do, guys? Okay, I'll, I'll get rid of that Gumblin energy and store this one there. Right, let's go ahead and leave something making in the meantime. But alright, so the task force. I'm going to show you guys here what we did. Let me go ahead and move my screen over to that side that's to my right anyways let's take a look at actually our previous attack prior to the, the, this last one that we're currently on so powder keg this was a really interesting op uh, as you guys can see we took it down with nine attacks out of the 24 members that we got right now first up is myself me myself and i these nuts got them as you guys can see i sent out my scorchers my heavies and zookas Let's go see what I did. Let's go see the ba the battle. All right, so of course, I deploy all my troops over on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and speed everything up because, like I said, I did take down this base. As you guys can see, I'm working those power cells. Those mortars are trying to take me out. And of course, I shock them. Flare over there to the right, and then I believe I'm gonna try to take out. Yeah, there goes the rocket launchers. Try to get them out. Just picking up all that GBE as much as I can there from those power cells. And then I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to flare yeah, towards the back. Take out those two. Well, not two, but take out those as well. And then shock, of course, the boom cannons. And um, that last shock, as you guys can see, that should have been the mortars and the cannons. So that was a little mistake that I did there. But here we go. Works it through. The only thing that we got working now is uh, that rocket launcher. And then my super girls are just going to town in that power core. They're down to 10 seconds and boom. Just like that. Just like that barrier went down. So that was one of my good attacks. Best attacks. That's I think the first one I've been able to do where I just go in all by myself and take everything. Wipe it all down. Alright. Let's keep looking. I'm just going to go ahead and move my screen down there. We got Kabler, he attacked Bloatware. So let's go ahead and see what he did. He beached his Scorchers, of course, there to the right with the Sukas, taking out those power cells with those mortars there. Regrouping them, going after those mortars, taking them down, mowing right through, flaring over there to the right hand side, trying to pick up as much as uh, GBE as he can. And as you guys. Alright, what is he? He's just working, working in. He threw down some critters over there to help with those power cells. Going after those sniper towers. You guys can see he's just picking up a bunch, a bunch, a ton of GBE, gunboat energy. And he's going to use it up here. There he goes. One shot takes out those, uh, the big guns, of course, those cannons. Um, one of the scorchers went down, another scorcher went down. Thing. And then he was down to a few Zookas and was able to drop down some critters after he had no no more um, troops left. Critters are just going to town over there, trying to just mow, trying to eat as many power cells as they can. So that's it. All right. Sorry about that light over there. And right, then James the Lion. Let's go ahead and take a look through these real kind of quick. All right, so James goes over on the far right, beaches, goes straight to the back, where Kabler was working those um, those power cells. All right, so there he goes, picking up some GBE, gunboat energy on the way. Let's try to zoom in over here in case he decides to attack some of those. All right, flares over there to the very, very back. We're going to go after those um, flamethrowers in that sniper tower along with those um, boom cannons. You guys can see there. Shocking his way through, shocking, shocking, taking out as much as he can from those defenses, and just going to town. And then he goes down, down to the Lazukas, and looks like that boom cannon is just 
working them one by one. One by one. There's two left. Can the last one make it? No. Sadly enough, it went down. All right. Up next, we got Pink Lady Hope. Let's just take a look at what she did here. All right, so she's attacking Blue Water, raging down the right-hand side, taking out those sniper towers, shocking them, going after them with the super girls, of course. There it goes. They're splitting. She's going straight for the core, and those rocket launchers are just decimating those heavies. And after those heavies are done, Zookas, I mean, they go by super fast whenever there's rocket launchers around. So that was Pink Lady Hope's attack. That was a good one. Um, let's see. Oops. Got out of it without trying to. Oh, this one's the current one. Sorry, guys. Right, so that was Pink Lady Hope. Let's go take a look at KJ Finn's attack. So KJ Finn, four minutes. Wow. I'm assuming he lasted here the whole time. So he flares right there to the machine guns, take those out. He goes over there to the boom cannons, as you can see, and that shield is working and working and working it, and takes it down. All right, then he goes over there to the right hand side. And I'm assuming he's gonna go after that cannon, sure enough, with those critters. Those rocket launchers trying to work him, but he takes them out, just like that, and then he's gonna go, of course, uh, for those shield generators and all those defenses and that extra GBE that's just begging to be taken back there. Take me, take me. Use me to take down some defenses. Ah. But anyways, all right, so he regroups him over there to the back. Goes straight to the towers, the sniper towers. Goes after those. Goes over here to the right. Let's follow you. Goes through the machine gun side with the boom cannon. Zuka's working it, working it. Work it, girls. Work it. And of course, once again, the rocket launcher, once there's no defenses left, is just going to decimate and cream anything on this path. So my dude, let's see, let's see how you took down Blue Water here. Right, so my dude is landing, beaching over there on the right, sending uh, fl the flare over there to uh, by the shield shield generator, regrouping them again, going straight for, going straight for it, and going straight for that power core. You guys can see he's working and working it. Shield was about to go down. Shield went down. Uh, just working that power cell. Power cores are the cells are the little little tiny ones around. There's a couple of artillery shots there. One, bam, goes down to the base. Look at that. So blue water went down just like that by some odd dude. Good job, brother. All right. Continuing in our list, we got Nameless that attacked Borderline. Let's go see what Nameless did here. All right, so he takes out some critters, shocks them. We got some cryoneers there working, slowing everything down. Look at those sukas just working through everything. Uh, working, working, freezing them, slowing everything down, like I said. Zukas are the only thing left. And unfortunately, like we said, they don't have a lot of health. And if once uh, the defenses, as well, not the defenses, but anything that's used to kind of absorb that attack once they're gone, I mean. They get, they get creamed. They get really decimated. All right. So we have PK Angel destroyed here, borderline. PK Angel is also a newer uh, member of our task force. He's been doing great, as we can see here, beaching his troops right there, kind of in front of the uh, power core. I believe, yeah, he goes straight for it. So he's let them spread a little bit to kind of do a, like a fanning uh, protection I'm assuming for the for the Zuka girls and it's working out perfectly but he shot that rocket launcher back there and of course shocking it again heavies are taking a little bit of damage but those Zukas are just plowing just plowing through like I said rocket launcher over here doing a f little bit of damage but he's got those shockers and he's shocking that uh, boom cannon of course not rocket launcher on the left hand side that's keeping him alive, keeping him in the game. And like I said, because of that, he was able to take down Borderline just like that. Just like that. Super duper, super easy. Okay? All right. So that was it. Last but not least, 
We got Dusty Harry, 73, taken down. Um, he blew where? All right, so he goes down on the far right-hand side. This is the one that Cavalier and everybody has been, well, not everybody, but a few others. We're working on flares over there. It takes uh, that GBE a little bit. Flares to the back. And then shocks those and goes straight for the kill. Straight for the kill. Bam, just like that. Takes it down. So that was our op that, like I said, went super, super fast. That was nine attacks. Powder keg. Um... Let's look at, let's take a look at our current op, just Mambo. Let's look at my attack, of course. Um, I thought I kind of opened it up quite a bit for, for people. So I beat right, of course, with my Scorchers and my Zookas. Taking those, taking the damage from the rocket launchers. As soon as they get closer, of course, I go in for the kill on the rocket launchers. All right. Keep working my way through all those uh, power cells, trying to pick it up, try to pick up all that GBE, all that gumbo energy that I'm able to to of course later on use um, closer to the power core. So you guys can see I'm just working it, working it. Uh, work it, work it. All right, so it goes straight for those sniper towers. Take those down. Go straight for the boom. Take a few of those down. And try to clear up everything and of course I was trying to go for that Doom Cannon, and I just walked everybody into the line of fire. But I did have one, one critter left, and he was doing all my hard work, all my leg work. But thank you, critter, for staying out there and doing what needed to be done. All right, so we're just going to look at, like I said, the uh, the ones that have taken down the bases. Here we go with um, Detroit Dice, our, our task force leader. He's just going... To go straight right through excuse me coming through just don't pay any attention to me just walking walking through and then bam all hell breaks loose look at this mayhem just going on you know boom cannons going out left and right and some scorchers going out left and right he has two scorchers that are left at the end of the day and they're just working working that power core until it goes down all right, so pretty much as you guys can see, he's going to take it down. I'm just going to speed up through this thing a little bit. All right, cool Raditz, another one of our newest members, level 32. Good job on taking this base down. You see, we try to clear everything out here around the power core, and then cool Raditz just goes in for the kill. All right, takes, uh, throws a couple of shockers over there to the rocket launchers, and just keeps going to town, those rocket launchers. Almost take out the heavies, almost. Because remember, as soon as those heavies are down, those Zookas would have been just, I mean, they would have been gone right there. That rocket launcher was about to shoot, but it was great timing. Good job, cool reddits. Like I said, you're gonna fit in great. You're doing great things here. Keep it up, brother. Captain Lay. All right, let's see what Captain Lay did. So he took up there the, um, the one that I did, as you guys can see, he's throwing a couple artillery shots there to that deadly doom cannon and he's working it he's gonna work it with grenadiers I mean why not they got the range um, they got the power they got the power uh, I mean I wouldn't say that they don't have any um, a lot of power but they do in numbers they do let's put it that way all right so I guess they're close to the power core as you guys are able to witness it they're just going to town I mean that sniper tower was hitting them every now and then but didn't do much to it and just like that, Tonnage went down on our current operation in Mambo. So, great job, Task Force. You guys are doing awesome. Uh, just to let you guys know, I'm actually going to be starting a new channel. And this channel is going to be showing you guys how to play Boom Beach, how to Boom Beach. And this is starting from level one. So, I'm going to, of course, I'm going to keep this account, keep it going and everything on this channel. But there's a new channel that is going to be called Rigo's game reviews I believe huh, don't quote me on that no actually for the boom beach one is gonna be it's gonna be named learn boom beach so learn boom beach you might as well search use any keywords like learn how to boom beach that kind of stuff and like and um, I'll be doing like I said starting from level one I'll be doing upgrades doing everything teaching you guys strategy 
the whole nine yards. But anyhow, going back to the wrench. Finally upgraded my iron mine to level eight. I'm not getting about 2,400 per hour. I uh, need quite a bit if I want to update it, but all my other resource productions are maxed out. Savage that. So, I was able to destroy a level 50, and I'm sorry, guys, that I missed it. I wasn't able to catch it on camera. But with this new account that I'm creating, Learn Boom Beach, I'm gonna show you guys how to. I mean, how to do everything. But I was able to destroy a level 50 without losing any troops whatsoever. So I got this achievement of the steamroller, and I got 40 diamonds for it. So let's go ahead and claim those bad boys. Bam. That was sweet. All right. And last but not least, we're going to take a look at, uh, at a couple of my attacks that I did here recently. All right. Move my camera again. Let's see. There was a few that I wanted to show you guys here. But, of course, it's not going to show it. Okay. Well, let's just show you how you destroy brick wall here real quick. So, brick wall... Just one, one scorcher over there to try to attract all the rocket launchers. I'm just going to work my way through. Work my way through. Go straight to the, to the HQ right there. Take it down like it's nobody's business. All right. Let's look at Sketchy because this was another level 50. So Sketchy. I'm just going to speed on through it. And I forgot, actually, I shared some of the attacks over to the task force. So we might take a look at those, see if I can see them there real quick. You guys can see, just work it, work it, work it, work it. And just go for the kill. And why not? Simple as that, guys. And just like that, down it went. Showing off my extra GBE. But... Let's go ahead and take a look to see if. Alright. So I got a big loot on this one. Look at this one, guys. Danger. This one was kind of like a good challenging base. So of course, I deployed my scorchers there, as you guys can see, taking out the, the shock launcher back there. And then just gonna go to town. Way, taking out that rocket launcher on the far right and bam going for the killer showing off my extra GBE BAM BAM okay let's see if I can find my other attack around here okay yes hunting season number 46 so this one I'm not gonna speed it up but look I deployed my three scorchers and then my Four sets of sukas right, be, right behind them. Shock right there, those two towers with the two booms. And my zukas are just gonna work. Let's speed it up a bit. Shock over here on the right again. Uh, I'm sorry, on the left hand side. Shock the boom with the tower. Throw down some critters to distract a little bit, to distract them from the fire there on the, um, the zuka girls. In the meantime, I'm just going over here on the HQ. Look at all that. GBE that I had one two three four five six seven seven extra smokes so I had a ton lost no troops lost nothing all right so same thing level 46 and level 50 I did the exact same attack hopefully I didn't show you guys the 46 already now I'm showing you the 50 or backwards whatever guys it was the exact same attack pretty much that I did um, here let's fast forward to see if I if it, if it was this one there it is, and then I threw the critters. Man, it might have been this one. Yeah, there it is with the seven. So 46, I had a lot more GBE left. Let's take a look at the 50. Here it is, my attack, lost no troops again. Yeah, this one's different. This one's in the snow. John Snow. Get ready, guys. Winter's coming. But anyways, for all of you that the, the watch uh, Game of Thrones or whatnot. Zookas doing their work. Scorchers taking all the damage that they can take. 
I mean, what else could I ask from 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 my current battalion or whatever you guys might call it? I threw my critters there. You saw four smokes. Like I said, not as much as GBE as the other one, but it was good. And last but not least, let's go ahead and collect all the resources remaining. You know what? Let's go do an attack. Do I have anything? Any oh, somebody just took something here. What is it? 51. I don't know, guys. Direct current, 51. Shoot and loot, 50. Ace, direct current. Okay, well, let's go to this shoot and loot. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, let's go for it. Why not? All right, so I'm going to deploy my three scorchers up first. One, two, three. And my zoo goes right behind it. While those are going, I'm going to go ahead and take out a few of the... A few of the... Um, Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to explain while you're playing at the same time. It's going to take out some of the booms there, the cannons. And then bam. Bam. The sniper tower on that. Take those down. Just like that. Let's go take that last scorcher. Everybody's going to town. Let's just protect it with one. Boom. Just like that, shoot and loot. You went down, you got looted after you got shot. Shoot it and loot it. So shoot it and loot it. Last four Zookas, not too bad. Anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. Remember to keep an eye out for my new channel. That's gonna be called Learn Boom Beach or Learn How to Boom Beach. Type either one of those words on the search there on YouTube and you should be able to find me. Um, that's it, guys. That will do it for us today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, be sure to give us a like. Hit subscribe. And like I say, keep an eye out for that new channel that's coming out. Learn Boom Beach, what I'll be playing starting out from level 0, level 1, whatever you guys want to call it. Stay tuned. I'll be coming here in the next few days. Thank you for watching. Until next time.